to build a project with GPIO, you use the GPIO event button uh, events here in the toolbar. If they're not displayed, it could be that they're turned off. Uh, if you turn them off, as you can see, they disappear from the ribbon. But if they are turned on, they are available in the ribbon. Okay, so they're turned on. Let me quickly pull together some assets to use in my project. Uh, three video files. <clears throat> okay, I will use this as my menu graphic. As you see, it's a PNG graphic. Um, really, this can be anything. This, this project will be very simple. I want to use a, a button press to travel from this main menu to three possible states. So button one will come here, button two here, button three here. And actually we have eight channels of GPIO. They are numbered zero through seven for a total of eight. So we'll use zero, one, and two for my choices. And I will use three as a return home. Choose the event, button zero, and drag. If button zero is pressed, come the, the player will go to this state. If button one is pressed, the player will come to this state. If button two is pressed, the player will come to this state. Button three will return the player to home, will return the player to home, will return the player to home. Also, if the file ends, I want the player to return home. So if the file ends, if the file ends, if the file ends, because these are video files. And if the file ends, it should automatically come home. But I can use button three to come home at any time. So now my project is very simple. Button zero, one, and two will take me to content, content, or content. And button three, at any time during video playback, button three will return to the main menu. Or if the file ends, the file ends. If the file ends, I'll return to the main menu. I'm going to save. Now, <clears throat> what about GPIO outputs? Because this is easy. This is four buttons that are wired to the player. For GPIO output, I go to Presentation Properties and choose I.O. Here I can configure my GPIOs as input or outputs. Already I have used 0, 1, 2, and 3, so I will leave those without change. I need them as inputs. But I have 4, 5, 6, 7 I can use as outputs. So I will reconfigure 4, 5, 6, 7 as outputs. When I do this, you see the change here. Only 0, 1, 2, 3 now remain as inputs. 4, 5, 6, 7 are now outputs. So maybe if this video is playing, I want output four to turn on. When a GPIO is off, the voltage level is zero. When a GPIO output is on, the voltage level is plus five volts DC. So it is, to use the old term, TTL logic. Off is zero volts, on is five volts. And in the boards from HMS, you can see opportunities, or I should say you can see projects or boards that, that give you relays and other devices that are controlled by TTL on or TTL off. Sometimes you say also TTL high, 5 volts, and TTL low, 0 volts. So imagine the case that if I am here in this video, I want 4 to be on. If I am here, I want four, five to be on. If I'm here, I want six to be on. I already have the logic to switch from the menu to the videos, so now I need to add the logic to turn on or off the GPIO outputs. Let's go to this state, double click, and notice I can choose advanced. Here I have commands that occur on entry to the state, and commands that occur on exit from the state. So on entry, I will set GPIO 4 to be on, 
and on exit I will set GPI 4 to be off. You see on or off GPI 04. I did that on this state. So if the player enters this state it will turn GPI 04 on. When the player exits this state it will turn GPI 04 off. I will do the same here but with GPI 05. And finally, here, I will use 6. Okay. Now, it, 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 you can't see it easily because it's uh, an advanced command inside these states. The main logic to navigate from this graphic to these video files remains without change, but inside each state I have added commands to turn on or off a different GPIO output. Here it is 5 and here it is 6. This is why we represent the GPIOs with these small images of a, a light bulb <clears throat> because it can be on or it can be off. I hope this answers your questions about GPIO inputs and outputs in an interactive project.